How do we divide fractions? We turn the second fraction upside down and we multiply it instead. Here we have negative 3 quarters divided by 1 half. Negative 3 quarters stays the same. We turn the 1 half upside down and get 2 over 1 and then we multiply it instead. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 4 times 1 is 4. 6 and 4 have a common factor of 2, so let's divide both of them by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Our answer is negative 3 halves, but if we wish, we can convert it into a mixed number, negative 1 and a half. Here we're dividing fractions, but we have mixed numbers. We convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions first. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Negative 3 over 2. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Negative 9 over 4. We turn the second fraction upside down, and we multiply instead. You don't have to make this negative sign follow the 9 around. The entire fraction is negative. This new fraction we make is negative. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. 2 times 9 is 18. We no longer have a negative. The two negative signs cancel because we multiplied negative by negative. 12 and 18 have a common factor of 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Our answer is 2 thirds. Here we have an improper fraction divided by a fraction. The first fraction stays the same. The second fraction turns upside down. We multiply instead. If we like to do canceling when we work with fractions, this 3 and this 3, one is on the top, one is on the bottom, we're allowed to cancel them. They each become a 1. You have 7 over 1 times 1 over 1 equals 7 over 1 equals 7. The answer is 7. Here we have another mixed number. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 thirds divided by 5 sixths is the same as 10 thirds times 6 fifths. Second fraction turned upside down, we multiply instead. 10 times 6 is 60. 3 times 5 is 15. 60 over 15. 15 goes into 60 exactly 4 times. Our answer is 4.